So welcome back to the Living in Orange County, California channel. Desiree and I are part of the number one relocation team here in Orange County, California. So we are on the Seal Beach Pier right now. And in this video, we're just gonna do a tour not only of Seal Beach, California, but also of Los Alamitos, California and Rossmore, California. And behind us, you can actually see Long Beach. So Seal Beach is really, really close to Long Beach. And Desiree, I don't, do you want to talk a little bit about what is Seal Beach? Why do people like Seal Beach over maybe, I don't know, other beaches in Orange County? So what's like the sure. draw to this area? Sure, so Seal Beach is the northern coastal city, the most northern coastal city in um, Orange County. So you have Long Beach there, and then you have Orange County this way. So you're right in the middle. So there's a hub for work here, right in Long Beach. And then you can also make it to Irvine. A lot of people do like to take Pacific Coast Highway right on. It's a beautiful drive. You see coastal and you see beach area. So Seal Beach is, is top list for sure. And we're here in February. I mean, I would say the number one draw, not only to Seal Beach, but the entire Orange County region is our spectacular weather, right? I mean, just look at the beautiful blue sky. We're not dressed for any cold at all. I mean, isn't it? I mean, you're from Louisiana, right? Absolutely. So like, what, how, describe the weather here. <laughs> Yes, so the weather is, is beautiful here. I feel like it's a perfect day. If you have something just light on like this, you could take a walk outside. Um, it's not freezing. It's right in that middle temperature. It's a little cloudy out today, but it's totally fine, like overcast. Um, it's beautiful. Okay, and then I'm going to let Sean talk a little bit about the pricing here in Seal Beach, and not only Seal Beach, but Los Alamitos and Rossmore. So I'm gonna let him do that right now. Okay, so as far as Seal Beach goes, it's kind of funny. A lot of people will look on Redfin or Zillow and go, okay, what's the median price point of the city? And it's kind of crazy, actually. If you go on Redfin, it says the median price point is $337,000, and that's ridiculously low. So the thing about Seal Beach, and it, but however, if you filter it and you actually say, okay, well, what's the median price point of single-family residences or, like, houses, it's $1.65 million. So way dramatically different. And what it, like, a lot of that amounts to is that Seal Beach has a lot of condos, but in particular, they have condos held in age-restricted communities. Technically, they're not even condos, but co-ops. So you have to buy cash. It's really low priced, and so it, it kind of throws people for a loop. And that's why you got to reach out to us, because we can kind of walk you through all these little intricacies, because it is a little bit confusing when you kind of think about, okay, well, what, like, this house looks great, or this condo looks great. Well, it's not really a condo for one and two. It's age-restricted, and three, you have to pay cash for it. So that's why you would reach out to us, so we can help you, like, you know, like guide you to the right properties. So I'm Sean Azad. I'm Desiree Montgomery. And we're with the number one relocation team here in Orange County. And we are licensed realtors here in the state of California. So what you wanna do is you wanna reach out to us so we can help you with all your real estate needs. And so what you wanna do is you also wanna subscribe because not only doing a, a, a tour of Seal Beach today, but we're also doing tours of all the cities in Orange County, you know, like, you know, so it's sprinkled throughout. So you wanna definitely not miss out on those videos. And just to stress again, you can see Long Beach behind us. And that is one of the big reasons why people love this particular area, because you are literally right in the middle of two of the biggest job markets in the entire country. I can't tell you how many friends that I have, you know, they work in Irvine, their partner works in Los Angeles. I mean, it's just like, it's such a nice convenient location and you're right in the middle of so many job opportunities. That's a big reason why people end up not only in Seal Beach, but in Long Beach as well, because you kind of like, you have that opportunity for like, oh, I found a great job in Irvine, but you know, my partner found a great job in LA or Long Beach. So you, you have those opportunities. Yeah, and just so you know, like as far as like uh, shopping options and that kind of thing, Seal Beach in and of itself doesn't have a ton because it is smaller. However, you know, right next door to it is Long Beach, which has, it's, it's an economy in and of itself. It's a good size, it's a large city. And so it has a lot of, you know, shopping, you know, options, dining options, that kind of thing. And then of course, Huntington Beach also has it too. So your neighbors have a ton of options. It's just that Seal Beach with, with itself doesn't have all that much. So here we are, we're walking in Main Street in Seal Beach. Um, you know, Orange County is known for like not having a downtown. But it actually has quite a few like little main streets, little, lots of the little cities here have their own little downtowns. And this is Seal Beach, California's downtown main street. Lots of cute little shops, lots of cute little restaurants. It's very popular for people to come here just to hang out, you know, on a Friday night or something like that. Even, you know, people from <clears throat> Long Beach, which is the neighboring city, they'll come down here just to hang out and have fun. So. Yeah, it's just a super cute little area that you can recreate in.
And here we are, we're driving along Ocean Avenue in Seal Beach. Definitely some of the more pricier homes. Many of them are beachfront property, uh, bigger homes. Again, smaller lots, definitely. That's going to be how it is for lots and lots of areas. of All of the beach cities of Orange County, California, you're going to have smaller lots because, again, your playground is the beach. So if you're looking for a big backyard, you know, Los Alamitos definitely has some uh homes that have bigger lots uh rossmore has homes with bigger lots so if you're looking for bigger lots definitely beachfront property usually does not have that and since it is lunchtime and we are all the way up here in seal beach slash los alamitos sean and i are going to take the opportunity to go to one of our favorite restaurants in all of orange county let's see where are we going so one of the reasons that seal beach is such a small city it doesn't have a big population is that you have the seal beach national wildlife refuge which is a lot of just land that you can't develop so you'll see you know maybe you'll look on a map and you'll see the city of seal beach but there's actually not that much homes here because a lot of the land is just open space that you can't develop on. So we're on PCH right now, which is Pacific Coast Highway. Um, if you've never been to California and you hear us saying PCH, 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 what is that? It's Pacific Coast Highway. It's a highway that runs along the coast, um, very long uh, stretches of California. And one, uh, p one thing that people do like to do if they live close to PCH is they do use it to get around the traffic on the freeway. I have had many colleagues when I worked in Irvine who lived not only in Seal Beach but Long Beach and instead of taking the freeway they would take the PCH to get there. It might have taken maybe, I don't know, 10 minutes longer but it's just so much nicer drive, less stress of the horror of the freeways. The freeways, especially as you get closer to Los Angeles, they get they just start sucking even more even more the traffic gets even worse so that is one little workaround so actually as we're driving down pacific coast highway what's funny is that we're we're by this iconic structure this is an, a converted water tower that turned into a house i think it's like three stories it's actually pretty good size and every every so often it changes hands someone someone sells it or whatever but yeah someone went through a, a lot of effort to convert this water tower into a house and as you can imagine, the, view, the views, given how high up this, this structure sits, are pretty spectacular. Yes, if you can imagine looking out onto the beautiful blue ocean, as soon as the haze burns off, you've got the marine layer, and you just see that vast, beautiful blue ocean that we are so lucky to have here in Orange County, California. So now, right behind us is Surfside Colony. This is you know, oceanfront homes, and it's it's really cute, it's really nice. Again, on the more expensive side, no, no question. And what people love about it is that it's a gated community. Very few gated beachfront communities in any, honestly, in all of Orange County, there's not, there's only a handful of them. So this is one of those few places that offers both beachfront and gated. Now, as you can imagine, being gated, like the, obviously there's gonna be association dues. So some people, they absolutely love gated communities and other people don't because of the inherent associations associated with it. But however you feel, like if you want gated, that's why you gotta reach out to us. We can find you that perfect home. Yeah, whether that gated community is in Seal Beach, another beach city, or anywhere in Orange County, you definitely have lots of options. Well, not lots, that's why you gotta reach out to us because depending on where you are, there's lots of options for gated communities or there might not be many options at all. So another reason why Seal Beach has uh, limited land to develop, the Navy actually does own a decent amount of land out here as well. And then um, that there also is a presence of Boeing here, the company Boeing. Um, Orange County used to be a huge, huge hub for aerospace, but it's definitely gone down over the years. But yeah, that's just something to know. There is a naval presence here. And then also Los Alamitos has a military base as well and then you do have uh boeing here as well so it's funny as we're driving by, like down seal beach boulevard we're actually uh we drove by leisure world which is, which is this age restricted community here in seal beach and what's funny is that i saw this like bronze you know this bronze globe statue and it brings me back because i just remember as a little kid that statue was seared in my mind. I remember that statue. And so it's kind of funny how that's still here after all these years. Yeah, I mean, obviously when Sean was little, that was what, 15 years ago? Right about. Yeah, you know, when he was a little kid 15 years ago, or, or maybe a little bit longer than that, so, but yeah. So we just got out of the Old Ranch Country Club in Seal Beach, California. Um, it's got a really nice golf course there. 
and Sean and I were actually having deja vu because uh, randomly, like, his sister used to be part of that country club, and we had Thanksgiving there once. We're like, wait, have we been here before? So, yes, uh, it's a nice little country club, and I don't know if Sean wants to say anything else about it. Yeah, I mean, what's nice about it is it's, it's really convenient. It's right off the 405 freeway, so basically it's uh, 405 and 605 are the major cross streets, so or the major, like, major intersection, I suppose. And so it's just really convenient to get to, and this is generally nice, like, you know, nice golf course. So here we are, we're in a, yeah, another neighborhood in Seal Beach, and this is actually on the other side, like the inland side of the 405 freeway. So this is right next to Rossmore, to Los Alamitos, even to part of Garden Grove. So that's where these homes are. Again, very convenient to get to, so if you want to be close to the freeways, this is pretty amazing from that perspective. Okay, so here we are, we're at Ocean Place. This is uh, like this relatively new construction. These were built about in 2019, and this is along the San Gabriel River, right by the, right by the beach as well, and you're right across the street from Long Beach. So you're, uh, I mean, I actually just, if we cross the San Gabriel River, you're in Long Beach, therefore you're in LA County. So this is pretty much the northern tip of Orange County right here. And these homes are really cute getting their newer homes like probably very new homes especially for orange county standards and it's hard, really hard to find like a, a development of new homes that's actually coastal so and we just drove from the hill which is this really highly sought, sought after the community in seal beach i love it because it's the the neighborhood's really cute it's like this suburbia kind of setup but you're so close to the coast and some of these homes are actually pretty good size too so you have a, a, a big mix so you have a lot of variety here so it's not like all cookie cutter one kind of development so here we are walking we're on a beautiful wide very wide street that's one thing that's really nice about rossmore we're here in rossmore california in between a little census designated place in between seal beach and los alamitos these streets are so wide i love the trees obviously it's winter right now so there's no leaves on it because we do get quote seasons oh, here yes, we do. <laughs> it's pretty dramatic, really. It might vary by 10 degrees. Well, you can just see how beautiful the nice blue sky is here. Yeah, and this is a February day, so, mm -hmm. you know, it's very nice weather, very pleasant right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we're just going to show you a little bit about Rossmore. I love how, you know, some, some parts of Orange County, what people don't like is very cookie cutter. You know, a lot of the same master plan communities, every house looks the same. That's not how it's like here in Rossmore. Uh, lots of charm. It actually kind of reminds me a little bit of like Mesa Verde and yeah. Costa Mesa. I agree. Um, yeah, so it's just, yeah, we're just going to show you around, show you some of the cool little neighborhoods and streets here. Again, this is really small. Like, about 10,000 people. Yeah, about 10,000 people. So that's kind of why we're grouping everything together. But yeah. So now here in Rossmore, what you have to understand is like, okay, first, let's just kind of throw it out there. The median home price here is about $1.25 million which is a decent amount more than Orange County's median home price of about, about like at the time of this recording, about 971,000. So it's a good amount off. So you go, oh wow, this is a really expensive area. And what I'll say to that is, it is obviously higher than average, but also be aware that pretty much Rossmore is almost all single family residences, which obviously skews it. Because if you actually look at any of the websites, you go median home price, you know, 1.25 million. How about, how about for single family residences? 1.25 million. Like it's just basically what you're looking at. And, you know, so, so just be aware that it's, I would say it's closer to the median, the average median home price in Orange County. It's just that these are pretty much all single family residences. So, okay. And at the time of this recording, this may come as a surprise to a lot of people because they hear all the doom and gloom on the news, but interest rates have come down off of their peaks. And with that coinciding with the spring, you know, spring just around the corner, the market has heated up. So this area is in really high demand. And like a lot of the reasons are one, it's super cute. If you look at, if you walk around, like it's just very well kept, you know, like lawns and just, it's very cute, very suburbia. Like it's a varied situation where there's a lot of um, options here where you have like single level homes, you have homes that have been remodeled over the years and you have obviously much larger homes. So people, again, it's a really, and it's what's really drives people to this place is the fact that it's right next to LA. So if you have a job that's in the LA area, Rossmore is pretty awesome. Now, if you're a person that says, I want to have like everything right where, like I want to have a lot of stuff to do right in my own neighborhood, honestly look somewhere else because Rossmore itself is pretty much, like it's just a big subdivision. I mean, I know I'm like oversimplifying it, but it's, there's not much to do right within Rossmore. It's pretty much all homes. Now, right outside of it, you have a ton of other stuff like Los Alamitos, you have Seal Beach, everything, like there's a bunch of stuff right outside of Rossmore itself, but not within Rossmore. 
So driving through Rossmore here, it's interesting because we did a little, you know, we're just kind of doing a little reconnaissance, right? So the, while the median price point is uh, 1.25, there are several homes here that are multi-million dollars, like, you know, like, like over two million, which is kind of amazing. And then there's one that's actually in escrow at the time of this recording that was listed for basically $4 million. $4 million! Which, again, it is a brand new construction. It is large, about 5,000 square feet, but still, that is a lot of money. And kind of what I, what I look at a lot of times is okay, if I were to buy this, like, you know, could I buy something almost equivalent? Like, what could I get in Newport Beach, for instance, for something like that? Because everyone knows that Newport Beach is an expensive area and all that stuff, and it has a ton of amazing attributes of the city. Obviously, I'm biased to Newport Beach because that's how, where I grew up. $4 million could get you, you know, some, something pretty decent in Newport Beach. And, again, I'm kind of blown away. I mean, I think that Ross Bar is a, a, the $1.25 million median price point. That's some really good value, but <laughs> some of these homes, I get, again, the approach that high, that that's just a lot of money. Yeah, when Sean saw the $4 million price tag, he basically reacted like Whoopi Goldberg in Ghost. $4 million! And then we also just passed by Rossmore Park, kind of just a typical park that you will see literally anywhere in Orange County, California, where there's so many people on the weekend doing their thing, whether it's sports, whether they're walking their dog, whether they're just enjoying the beautiful weather, no parking, very crowded, just, <laughs> this is literally like the typical Saturday in a typical park in Orange County, California. So here we are, we are in Los Alamitos. Again, Los Alamitos, California is right next to Rossmore, California, which is right next to Seal Beach, California. These are very, very small cities. Um, I think Los Alamitos has around, I'm guessing like 12,000 people or something like that. So again, if you are thinking about these areas, you've got to reach out to us because it is limited in terms of the amount of houses that come up just by virtue of how small it is. And I will let Sean talk about, you know, the prices and all of that kind of stuff. Yeah, and a lot of people might be wondering why we're lumping Rossmore with Los Alamitos with Seal Beach in one video. And it's really because of the size. I mean, you know, these three areas combine for less than 50,000 people, which is small for even a normal city in Orange County. So. Given, they're pro they're, given that they're all neighbors, we kind of lump them together. They're, they're all part of the same school district, so that's kind of why we lump them together also as well. And as far as Los Alamitos is concerned, the actual median price point for single family residences in Los Alamitos is you know between 1.2 to 1.3 million. So here we are behind us is Los Alamitos High School. We're just using this as an opportunity to talk about the Los Alamitos School District. So if you look at niche.com, they rank uh, the Los Alamitos School District, which covers Seal Beach, Los Alamitos, Rossmore, and actually some parts of Cyprus. It is, according to niche.com, the number three school district in Orange County. And, and this high school actually gets an A plus on niche.com, and it actually ranks it as one of the top, I think it's in the top thousand high schools for all of the United States. So obviously when you're looking at the rankings and stuff, this is a reason why people like this area because it gets uh, good rankings for the schools and that's just a reason that people like this area. So after a full morning of vlogging, I just have this voracious appetite right now. Yes, well, Sean and I, we always have voracious appetites because we're both foodies and one of our favorite restaurants is right here in Los Alamitos, the Coconut Rabbit. It is sp superb Thai food. Yes. Um, even just like the quality of the ingredients, like, the pad CU, the, the meat is tender. It's not, you know how sometimes with Thai food you can get like chewy meat and stuff? It doesn't have that at all. Yeah, and the pad Thai, mm, so good. It's so good. It's a great option. If you do decide to come live here in Los Alamitos, great option for dining. Yeah, and you wouldn't know much to look at like because it looks like it's part of an office complex. You go in, you just drive by. It's just such a non-discreet kind of like, I mean, it's just such a discreet location. So, again, but well worth the trip. I know. So there's a sign in here that says coconut rabbit is my happy place and I actually do agree with that. So I'm laughing because the sun is blaring in her face and I'm wearing sunglasses. And yeah, she's like, it doesn't bother me. I'm like, yeah, but it's <laughs> destroying my eyes. <laughs> um, so here we are. We've got some beautiful oceanfront uh, properties back here. Seal Beach, California. We've got Long Beach over there. You can see Long Beach, Belmont Shores in Long Beach over there. We've got the beautiful beach and the, the pier, pier yeah. beyond us. Um, Again, Seal Beach, California, it is February, beautiful blue skies, beautiful weather. If you are thinking about moving out here to Seal Beach, California, Los Alamitos, California, Rossmore, California, or anywhere in Orange County, California, 
give Sean and I a call and Desiree, she is part of our team and we can help you find that perfect property for you. And don't forget to subscribe because we do tours like this all the time. We're actually playing another one in Dana Point and then we've got, Sean and I have so many plans for what we're gonna do. It just sometimes takes a little bit longer than we hope. So, <laughs> <laughs> so subscribe and yeah, we'll see you soon. Donut City, oh yeah, fresh donuts, big daily.